creativity cannot be compared with uh, what the almighty is the ultimate expert of and uh, his creation is dantlona uh, best is a human being where he inherited from the god's creation or i can call it as nature's creation and uh, this creativity is such whichever is imbibed in um, any passionate human being that cannot keep quiet or calm whenever the opportunity keeps coming it gets triggered one such is that uh, the passion of uh, virtual reality creation me being the architect and been serving um, for the past 35 years one of the time when i was doing all the creative works in uh, apartments commercial complexes um, sports religious spiritual i have done various kind of projects while doing the spiritual projects when i saw uh, i got the project called devlok at tirupati where i have already built like a golden temple at vellore and yadagiri gutta dagira surendra puri ani this was one of my major uh, spiritual projects and uh, when i was de- designing uh, devi puram at uh, vizag near to sabbavarmani there uh, i got an opportunity to create a new spiritual theme park kind of thing which is called manidvipam when i was doing that manidvipam project i thought uh, when i have already built the sculptures and there are uh, innumerable sculptures and all the temples are made of sculptures which we submit ourselves as we are submitting to the god but is it possible to show a god as god in his original form in its nature in its universal form can i get it to that magnitude you triggered me and this was this happened about 16 years back while doing that project i presented i proudly presented in public gardens i designed that manid bipam i have shown that some day i am going to show god in his real form and that's how it is going to look like at that time i do not know even the term of virtual reality augmented reality or any kind of reality laser was the term i knew that uh, i said that uh, using the lasers i can create something like that you know god can appear in this project when the mantra diksha has to be given god himself the relevant god himself gives you that mantra diksha kind of presentation i have done and i have been waiting some day will come when i make it true and uh, yes when i got my devlok project at tirupati i closed myself to the rest of the world that i start my architectural practice and started doing a penance that how i can do this and i did it in a one year span i brought that uh, reality in the form of virtual reality <laughs> so this is how my introduction came into virtual reality coming to the point of uh, movie industry and uh, we knew that it began with uh, thousands of years back in the form of drama vidhi natakalu the street form of performances kind of thing and slowly about 100 years back the film industry started with the mookie technology then uh, black and white slowly that converted into uh, eastman color then uh, cinema scope after that uh, chota chetan supposed to be the first uh, 3d movie which created the history that movie can be like is seen in a depth in a depth uh, and that 3d has become a new technology in the industry and that been carried up to the latest avatar movie of james cameron what he has taken so the technology has been updating for the more and more uh, to give more uh, clarity to the and experience to the public later this uh, 4d theater 5d theater 6d theater where the new dimensions uh, of extra sensory activities like um, sprinklers you know air perfume to give the more realistic uh, experience in the um, while watching the movie but whereas uh, 
the extreme difference between the 2D, 3D and uh, 360 is the virtual reality movie. This comes where you get yourself into the movie and watch it uh, all around you. You are along with the characters. So this is something amazing uh, experience where we cannot imagine. In 3D also it is a projector and a screen based one where you wear the goggles but you are sitting in the same location. You are, you are not changing into the location or anything. That comes close to you, that 3D depth you can feel. But uh, 360 movie is the one which is a one to one experience because once you wear the headset you are immersed into the thing. So that takes you to any tree stunts, depths, uh, uh, levitatingness, that floatingness, uh, all this experience is now possible with uh, the 360 movies. But uh, as the technology is advancing, still the hardware support to give this experience is not evolved to the tune of uh, what we actually imagined of. So we worked very, very hard on that and uh, we studied that why 360 movies are not being made. So we found the reason, very first thing is that to make in technology wise 360 is not an impossible movie task, but the production cost need to be compensated on the return on investments. And that is cannot come unless and until the people who watch the regular movies in the millions and millions, the same way if it is also established in such a manner, it is not possible to get the return on investments. So it has been stalled and not much been thought about. There that's where we started. So first we started building up VR movie theaters. So when you watch the movie and uh, it is being an immersive and 360 degree movie. So director assumes that one character is in front of you and another character is behind you. Now how do you connect yourself in turning your head in behind? And uh, how do you know that at this point of time you have to turn your head? Uh, three, uh, first we started with uh, VR movie chair which uh, has to put in the direction of the from the director point of view that you must look at the subject when that in that particular time we did lot of research and exercise on that how it is possible that uh, to rotate the chair according to the what scene is happening there our team have day and night worked very hard and we have written the program <music>
I solved the problem of how to watch VR movies theatre. So, which is the first uh, triggering point for the movie makers because how do they get the return on their investments and now this is going to be spread all over the pan India and we are uh, very soon coming up with many more malls within Hyderabad itself by establishing the theatres. So, now we are asking the film producers to come forward and the very first question arises that how do you shoot a 360 movie? Uh, is it with uh, a regular camera or uh, in a professional camera or uh, whatsoever may be? Because they are seeing, they are watching entire thing the, around them, the scene. Because the screen we know that it is in front of in a 2D form. But when it is really around you, immersed around you and uh, how that technology transforms and this uh, capturing of the movie, uh, how the process is uh, definitely a very curious question. This uh, very recently uh, 3D cameras have started coming into the market up to 8K now. Very few are there in a 12K quality of cameras where people directly shoot uh, by placing the camera that will capture the 360 environment. But the problem is that even the cameraman or the crew behind this thing everything will be caught within the footage. Now, how do you remove that if it is to be shot in that camera? And second thing is that it is not so possible to move the 360 camera on a trolley or in the air. So, though there are very, very difficulties uh, in uh, abroad, they are making it by attaching to the drone uh, kind of thing, uh, footages they are making in 360. But when it is related to the filmatic uh, capturing, then people have not yet evolved how to remove the camera and crew which also comes into the picture. So, we are again doing research on how to mask them or how to remove them by different methods. We are in the process to achieve that even very soon. But in the meanwhile, there is another technology called virtual production where we have established our own studio in virtual production. So, this virtual production is now in extensive usage in all over the film industry. But again that is for the 2D purpose only, not for 360. The reason again being the same. In 2D, you can capture your face very close or any close up shots or any long shots and cut scenes. You can cut and attach, you can show different different uh, movie scenes uh, simultaneously. In 360, the problem is that each shot along with your front scene, there is also 360 environment vision. Means in every frame there will be a 360 environment. So, even your set has to naturally carry this 360 environment because out of curious Though our chair makes a um, audience to rotate according to the direction of the scene, his own curiosity, he is also allowed to look around all the thing and capture and enjoy the environment uh, what has been created in that. So, it is uh, uh, unless this uh, cameraman behind the camera is uh, removed, it is uh, not so possible to include 360 camera directly into the shooting. But we are using that in bits and pieces by uh, making scenes and shots in a such a way that we program before itself. That cameraman or director or any of the production crew will not be there, but actors will be there. So, they will capture the entire scene in the thing and at the time of editing, we will simulate this and attach this and uh, in the screenplay, we will make entire thing, it is a seamless production. Now, coming into the virtual production part, it is uh, that the 3D environment entire thing uh, previously like uh, Bahubali or um, any other um, green shot movies which are world famous, they are caught. So, they are uh, the tracking points what they made. In virtual production, it is a complete environment is built with a simulation. If it a big waterfall is there, that big waterfall in very natural form will be there and the character is overlapped at the time of shooting itself and that entire footage is captured live at a time. Means there is no further tracking and uh, post production is involved like in a regular 2D green mat production. So, virtual production is that it captures entire thing at a time and uh, simply after uh, DI and comp 
hit the color correction, the rest of the thing will be come, come and the, the director footage will be coming for the editing of the thing. So, that footage which is a shot in the 3D environment like the game engines what we use Unreal Engine. So, these are the softwares uh, which help us uh, to capture that, create that environment and uh, there will be the trackers will be there attached to the uh, camera and these footages we capture and convert again that into the 360 conversion. So, that production and that 360 conversion is, is again our initiative. So, that is how we produce 360 movies. Virtual reality technology is uh, uh, the terms which are commonly heard by the public. But uh, this technology unless one experiences they cannot really know what exactly virtual reality. So, this is where I started uh, and how to get this uh, experience to the common public. And uh, I have seen, I struggled very hard even to get my employees. So, it so happened that I have to train them from different different from software programmers, from multimedia and hardware. Because this is the only technology which requires a content driven. Other software programming that is just a, a laptop or any PC is just required for them to do the programming and that converts into the application people start using the application. But virtual reality is the only technology which involves with the content that is a graphic content. Without a graphic content there is no virtual reality. So, uh, while searching within the Hyderabad I found very very difficult to get uh, the trainees of my can and whosoever I called for the in interview whosoever appeared they also got trained from the um, so called uh, our uh, um, uh, online courses only. There are no proper tutor uh, to teach them and even they have learnt them they only to the certain uh, extent. But when it is to be applied into the practical application, when I give them the task, they say that I don't know. So, we used to contact the direct uh, providers of the you know, software, game engine developers. But even that team also, when I pose any question, they used to say that no, we have not tried this. Yet. So, when we, I heard that uh, we have not tried this, then I understood that okay. I must be doing something that where people just not uh, pose a blank face whenever I put a question. With that intention, we have come up with uh, a 34 acres of land in uh, Shamshabad where we have created a VR Techno Park. The idea behind that is to bring hardware, software and creative part, multimedia part together and design courses in such a way that that has to be in direct application to whatever is the questions what I am posing. Then learning a BTEC for uh, 4 years, then multimedia for 2 years, then another uh, advanced courses for uh, uh, short term courses for months together. Instead, I can start them the courses right from the 3 months training, 6 months training, 1 year and 2 year courses like that. And they can become perfect virtual reality technology programmers and content developers. So, this is from the education side. So, now this is not just a sufficient if I produce uh, 10, 20 in number. And whereas the world in the, it is a global need to have a very trained experts in this virtual reality technology. So, then I approached the government and uh, fortunately Telangana government has given a very good backup for us and encouragement to us. Thanks to KTR Garu, he has also personally appreciated and he has seen the technology what we have made and uh, uh, we are also associated with the T hub of Telangana where the different incubators and startups are there. So, we are also associated with uh, VRARA that is uh, Virtual Reality Augmented Reality Association which is a global platform which is only existing online. And our VR Techno Park is something which is similar to that but in a physical form because uh, unless I know the practical problem of wearing the headset and the content is not up to the mark it is displayed where that hardware has to be immediately corrected and that correction comes along with the content it is played inside and that content is driven by the software again. So, when it is interrelated, our purpose of Cymax Institute of Creative Technology and VR Techno Park serves this purpose where Microsoft, Google, Adobe and um, um, Game Engines, they come together and start working. The problems are sought at a very quicker pace and the the cream of uh, students produced here, the skill development produced here can reach globally at a faster pace. 
and with that the much uh, coming in picture of a metaverse what facebook is formulating now with uh, that platform that social media we can also give our uh, uh, products and what we have developed and we people can see this augmented and virtual reality in many many forms because all the next future is going to be replaced with this virtual reality